you could do just one thing and only one thing, what would it be? The single one thing you would do to deal with the problem? One Ms. thing. Ms. Haskell, I'm just going to go down the line. Okay. <laughs> I would um, put single most Single most important thing to, to address the, the problem in your community or your community across the country, what would it be? Only one thing. I would have to put in place some type of parameters for the MATs that are in our area for the medication assisted treatment programs that are in our area for the adults. For youth, it would be absolutely prevention, prevention, prevention. Okay, that sounds like two things. Ms. Roberts. <laughs> Um, well, in, in terms of the overall, drugs are always a symptom of a bigger thing. Um, and so we, uh, you know, Appalachia has been an area that's kind of been impoverished. And so um, I think that overall, anything that can improve the economy is going to be helpful in the long term. Um, but I would have to say at the moment that this isn't necessarily being treated like a public health emergency, even though it has been declared. Whenever there's a public health emergency, there is typically a stabilization period mm -hmm. um, where the crisis kind of gets contained. Um, and having been through multiple addiction treatment facilities with my own child um, and experienced a gamut of things that um, did not work. Um, my daughter thrives on medication-assisted treatment, but I cannot tell you how difficult that was for me to access for her. So I think that I would have to say I would like to see um, our regulations surrounding medication-assisted treatment be lessened, similar to what some of the other countries in Europe are doing. People can actually dose on methadone at a local pharmacy on their way to work. I don't have any access to methadone um, in my community. The closest clinic is like 100 and some miles away. And so um, that would be my answer. Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Siegel. Yes, I would, uh, if I could do one thing, it would be the, the, the continuance of HIDA under ONDCP. Uh, because, uh, as I stated, it allows us to operate efficiently and effectively and also interface and support the prevention and education and treatment sides more effectively. For instance, some of the items I mentioned, like OD maps, that's not just for law enforcement. We developed it for law enforcement, but it's open to hospitals, treatment people, other people, public health people to see where the overdoses are occurring. Yep. And some of the HIDAs are starting to use that information to, to, to forward out to the, the treatment people to say, hey, we have responded to this individual five times or three times. They've been Narcan X number of times. You may want to get out and talk to these people because they're going to be your next overdose victim. But I think that that totality of a strategy that ONDCP encompasses allows us as a, an enforcement program to partner and have greater access to the areas and provide assistance in those areas. Ms. Ayala. My recommendation would to be integrate and expand access to substance use disorder treatment across the community with a particular focus on individuals who are uninsured or underinsured using public funding for their care. Do any of you believe that uh, other social welfare, uh, not other, but social welfare programs, government programs in our social welfare system, I should say, do any of you believe that there's a study done by um, Senator Johnson's staff over on, on the Senate oversight uh, oversight Committee, where there, uh, and there have been some research in this area, that the Medicaid expansion is actually in some ways maybe contributed to growing uh, opioid use in certain communities. Do you think that is um, something that should be examined and may in fact be the case, Ms. Haskins? I will not blame that for the reason that West I'm not, I'm not saying it's, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying cause and effect yet, but do you see a correlation and potentially cause and effect relationship between the Medicaid expansion and the opioid ec epidemic? I believe it has made it easier for access. Yes. Yeah, that's what Mr. Mr. Our Senator Johnson's study indicates. Ms. Roberts? Um, Ohio is one of the states that did expand Medicaid, and so I can probably speak on that a little bit. However, Ohio had a prescription opioid problem before Medicaid expansion. What Medicaid expansion? I'm not, I'm not if I could interrupt for a second. I'm not, I'm not yeah. saying it didn't. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm asking, do you, and as a professional in this area, do you think the Medicaid expansion exacerbated an already existing problem? 
I think medication, medi Medicaid expansion helped tremendously in terms of the problem because it allowed access. What I see at the community level is that it allowed access to addiction treatment for a, a lot of population that that was was not able to access. Do you it think before. welfare reform would it, it, it would be a necessary part of actually addressing this overall problem? Reforming our welfare policies, um, incentivizing work, doing different things. You mentioned in your comments earlier, Ms. Roberts, that economic concerns uh, you think led to this. So, um, do you think reforming our welfare system would help with this problem as well? Um, I think that it would be worth taking a look at. But you know, I can, as far as where I'm from, there really aren't a lot of opportunities for people, and so um, public assistance is necessary. Um, for those people. So I was talking, I was speaking more in terms of economic development and opportunities. Ms. Haskins? I, I would say absolutely, I mean, I, I, I would agree with that, yes. Um, I think part of what would need to happen, though, is with the Medicaid expansion, much like um, they, they would need, be, need to be able to go across state lines. To, to access treatment. I'm pushing my limits on time, so I'm going to, I'm going to recognize uh, the, uh, Ms. Ms. Kelly for her uh, five minutes of questioning. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you and the ranking member for